Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So today we're doing something new to the channel. Nikki suggested that we do this video and I love the idea. I've seen other people do it and I really like when they do it. So this is going to be my April picks product wise uh, for the month. Basically what I've really discovered that I love or that I feel like I've been using a ton of that I feel like is worth the money or is helpful in this particular time, whatever it may be. These are the several items that I've chosen to share with you guys that I think are worth your time, your money, whatever it may be. I'm gonna go in order of how I use them on my face typically. That's gonna sound weird, but hopefully it'll make sense as uh, we progress on to uh, to the, the products and you guys kind of see my, my thought process behind that. Uh, really quickly, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for checking us out. I hope you enjoy the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, you might wanna consider doing that. We're pretty fun. I try and do a whole bunch of different things and we try and post content as much as possible. So we definitely want you to be part of the Dark Angel family. Uh, but yeah, other than that, let's jump into these products. So the first thing I'm gonna start with, this is a moisturizer and a um, an acne medication. It's from Clean and Clear, really simple. I'm pretty sure everybody recognizes Clean and Clear as a brand. Honestly, I picked this up I don't even know how much it costs retail without being in a bundle set. I got it with a face wash, a, um, a toner, which I also love and I'm now currently out of, and this dual action moisturizer with um, silicical, I, I don't think I said that right, but uh, acid acne medication in it. And it's in intended to moisturize dry, sh dry skin, I wish I could speak, dry skin and prevent pimples. The whole set of three products was like $9.99 at Target. It lasted me forever, so I haven't bought it in a hot minute. But I pulled this out because my mother suggested that Nikki and I film a skincare video together as like a home spa day. We did it, it was great for me. He had a terrible reaction to, I think one of the masks that we did under his eyes and he woke up the next day and he was like, my face is really swollen and he was kind of itchy. So he asked if I could find him a moisturizer to help with, um, with what was going on with that, the itchiness specifically. And so I dug this one out because he's also been breaking out. And I was like, well, this one has the acne medication and it should be just a very neutralized moisturizer. I know he's used clean and clear in the past and it responds well to his skin. So I pulled it out, but I've actually also been breaking out really horribly. And at first I thought it was hormonal because you know, around the time of the month, you always kind of break out around your chin, at least I do. And so it was kind of happening like this, but then I started getting them like up in this area and I really realize it's because I'm still going into work um, because I'm considered an essential employee. And so I'm still going into work and I work in the middle of the night, but because I'm touching food and everything um, to, to be respectful to our customers and as safe as, and, and healthy as possible for them, I've been wearing a mask. So that way, if God forbid anything were being carried in me, then I, hopefully I'm helping prevent it from being transferred to them. So I wear a mask, even though I'm not really around people. And um, that mask has made me break out really bad. Like the tip of my nose, I had a pimple. I had pimples up on my cheek, which I hardly ever get. Normally if I get pimples, they're like in my forehead or right around this area. So I started using this moisturizer as well, hopefully uh, to combat that. And it's it's been very helpful. It's really neutral. It does sting just a tiny bit when you put it on. But for me, that psychologically is like, oh, it's working. So I don't mind that, um, but I really highly recommend it. It's, it's done really well for both Nikki and I, which we have two different types of skin. I have very combination-y skin. He has um, very acne prone skin. I don't think it's necessarily oily. It's just that he typically breaks out quite a bit. So with that being said, I would recommend that if you're looking for a good affordable moisturizer to help with whatever you may be dealing with with your skin. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is uh, my go-to uh, primer. And I will say as a catalyst, Right now, the products I am choosing to highlight and that I'm choosing to use regularly are more affordable products because we're not going anywhere. So I personally am still doing makeup because I enjoy doing makeup. I find it very therapeutic. I wanna keep working on my skills when I have this downtime. Obviously, we're still filming for the channel, so there's a lot of that factored into it as well. But when it comes to my base and all of that, a lot of what I'm doing is eye looks. And so when it comes to my base and stuff like that, I don't wanna be wasting my expensive products, my primers, my foundation, foundations, my concealers that cost 30 or $40 a piece, I don't wanna waste those in a time where I'm not really doing anything with it besides just filming. So if I can make a pretty neutral look for my base before I jump into an eye look and I can use affordable products, that's what I'm trying to do right now. That being said, one of my 
favorite brands is Yes2. They are primarily a skin tone uh, or a skincare brand. They have a lot of affordable products that are face washes. Their makeup wipes are personally my favorite. When they go on sale, I normally stock up on them. So that way I always have a little backup stash. But I discovered this. This is a cucumber cooling hydrating prime stick. And I just love it. First of all, it's not one of those deceiving packages where you're like, am I really getting that much? That thing was full when I bought it. I bought it about seven months ago and I use it pretty consistently. I've been using it way more consistently now because it's like a $9 primer full price. And I normally get it on sale because yes, two will do like 40% off at Ulta and stuff like that. So I'll pick it up for like six bucks. I love it. It is cooling, which for me, a lot of times, especially now that I'm showering every day, I know I talked about it in the past, how I did not shower every day. I would use dry shampoo. I would sleep in my makeup. I horrible. I was terrible in my skin and my body. But now that, <laughs> that I'm going out of the house every day and I'm worried about carrying germs home, I'm showering every day, washing my hair, washing my face. And so I typically do like a really thorough face scrub when I'm cleaning my face and my skin is very sensitive. I have a touch of rosacea and so I'm prone to, um, to getting redness and that kind of stuff going on. So this as a cooling primer really gets in there and kind of helps neutralize whatever redness I may have. And then it does a nice job of also kind of just giving you a very clean feeling, almost like you've just washed your face and then use a little bit of moisturizer, but it does have a tackiness to it. So you can feel that it's a primer. It makes my my skin, it, it does well with it. It does add a little bit of tackiness to it. And I found that like with my um, concealer, I let it set for a minute and I have to kind of use it a little quicker, but I don't hate the way it feels. And then when it dries down, it actually feels beautiful. But just if you, if you apply like anything on top of it right after you apply it, then it kind of has that tackiness. Not a bad thing, just something to be aware of. But I really do like it and I really think for the price, it's worth what you're getting. All right, this has been my go-to concealer for the entirety of quarantine pretty much. It is the Revolution Makeup Revolution London conceal and define full coverage conceal and contour uh concealer stick it reminds me so much of shape tape but it is a fraction of the cost i think full price it's like seven or eight dollars i just picked up four more we did put in an ulta order a pretty large one um and it mainly consisted of face makeup concealers things that are affordable that i can use that don't waste my expensive products because I was running really low. So I had one of these, I bought four more, four of them, it was, so it's $7 because four of them in my cart were $28, but then there was a sale going on where I got $10 off of that for buying Makeup Revolution products. So I literally paid $18 for four of them. Incredibly affordable, like cheaper than drugstore prices normally. And I love it. The coverage it gives me, like I said, it reminds me a lot of Tarte Shape Tape or Juvia's Place concealers, which I think in, in my opinion, when I'm buying concealers, those are two that I really look for because they have such an amazing coverage, but they are pricier. Juvia's Place is a lot more affordable. It's like $14, but Tarte Shape Tape is like $27. So that's an expensive concealer. And you're thinking if you're using it every day and you're not really going anywhere, like there's no special occasion. I'm not leaving my house. I'm just doing makeup in front of a camera and then sitting down. So, so with that being said, I think this is a great dupe for that at an affordable price. I will say it is, it has a very disconcerting smell at first. It's very chemically, um, which for me, that a little bit of a red flag. I have grown accustomed to it. I don't know if that's a good thing, um, but it's just one of those when you first kind of smell it, you're like, is that, what is it ammonia? And it's, I don't think it's ammonia. I just, it's that initial response of like, what is that? That is the one downside to it. But I think for the price and for the coverage you're getting for it, it's worth looking into. Um, the next thing that I, I would recommend these anytime, quarantine, no quarantine. I use them all the time anyway. I've just been really heavily using them. It's the NYX Professional Makeup uh, Eyebrow Pencils. I think they're an exact dupe for Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, eyebrow pencils. I will buy ABHs when they're like, when Ulta's doing their 21 days of beauty and they're 50% off. I think at 50% off, they wind up being like 10, 50, and which I think is a good price. These are $10 full price. NYX was having a sale. I bought three more of them in the shade taupe. I buy normally a couple different shades, but taupe is what they had that I would use comfortably uh, available. So I, when I put in the last Ulta order, I got three of them because they are 30% off. So I paid $7 a piece for them and I bought three of them and they equaled the, the full price 
of three of them was $21, which is what the ABH full price is for one. So I, once again, if you're looking for a good dupe and you're not going out of the house, you're just doing it to practice makeup, to have fun, to because you wanna be able to take cool selfies, whatever the reason is, I think it's worth it, um, especially right now when you're looking to kind of like keep things cost effective. Last two products that are my April recommendations are both palettes. And the reason I chose these palettes is because I explored them for the first time recently. I'm gonna go with one that is more affordable and then I'm gonna go with one that is not necessarily affordable, but it's something that I have fallen in love with very quickly and I've had it for a while, but I just started playing with it. So the first one we're gonna talk about is the, Re the Revolution Makeup Revolution London Patricia Bright Rich in Color Palette. I actually bought this palette at Christmas time on sale. It showed up with a broken shade, so I went to return it. I normally do that over the mail, but I think during Christmas time, Ulta gets a little bit kind of like mm, about doing like exchanges over the mail. So they were like, you have to take it back in person. Well, when I brought it back in person, it uh, the, the one that I was looking for, this one was not available in store. So I wound up getting a refund for it. And I was just like, forget it. I'm not meant to have this palette. Well, then when I was shopping and I was buying my last Ulta haul, which we have posted a video about that, just showing I kind of bought some hair stuff and whatever, whatever. I did see that it was on sale again. It's normally a $25 palette, which I think for what you get is a great deal. This time it was on sale for 40% off. It was like $15. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna do it. So I bought it again and I opened it up and I was thrilled. Cause first of all, it comes with a huge mirror. Amazing for $15, you can't buy a mirror that size for 15 bucks, so. But it comes with all these gorgeous shades, like just a ton of different things you can do with it. So we filmed, and I don't know how this is gonna post. If it's in my mind, this is April 30th, we're gonna post this one tomorrow. So that way you guys can see for May or for April, what I said was worthwhile, but it may not happen that way. So maybe these are out, probably not though. But we've filmed so far three eye looks with this palette and I'm gonna do one more. Um, and they all are completely different color schemes. They're all completely different vibes are all completely different looks because there's so many colors in this palette and they blend so seamlessly, like incredibly easily. I'm not gonna pretend like I am the, the world's best makeup artist by any means. There are palettes that I really struggle to make the eye look cohesive and not chunky and not blocky. But this palette, all three of the looks that I've done with it so far, these colors just really meld well together. And that is a huge thing in terms of formula, especially when you're talking about an affordable brand. So I absolutely recommend this palette. If I, I think there's another, I think there's Rich in Life too, which has more neutral colors from this particular collection. I like all of, of Makeup Revolution's palettes. I've used quite a few of them. They're very affordable. I really have not been disappointed by any of them, but that particular one with the what you're getting for the price point, I think it's absolutely phenomenal. So I would highly recommend you guys looking at that if you're looking at a palette that um, to add a little bit of like uh, vibrance and color into your life. The last one that we're going to talk about today is the Nabla Secret Palette. I got it at Christmas time. It was on sale for 50% off. It is normally a $39 palette. I, I put it away to film a tutorial, a first impressions tutorial with. I forgot I owned it. And then when quarantine happened and we were at home and we had time to film, I was going through my makeup and trying to come up with cool ideas. And I was like, I forgot I owned this. And I bought another Nabla palette, but we pulled them out. I did a first impression of it. I love it. I love it. It's like I said, it's not necessarily affordable. These are the colors that come with it. Very neutral, very romantic colors. You've got some really beautiful golds, blues, pinks in there. I don't normally use blues, so I would like to use them because they're gorgeous, but they probably will not get used as much as the other colors will. But I just love everything about this palette. I We filmed the tutorial with it and then we've been pretty much filming every day. I've taken a couple days off where we haven't filmed because either Nikki was busy or I didn't feel like it or whatever was happening. And every time we've not filmed and I've been like, I just wanna make a really cute, like simple eye look, I use this palette. And I know that's probably a bad idea. Cause like I said, it's not necessarily a cheaper palette. It is a pricier palette, $39, $40. That price point is a little bit higher. You're getting into that like medium level of cost for makeup rather than affordable, not quite high end. You guys know what I'm talking about, but it is such an incredible palette. I'm actually, what's on my eyes right now, we just filmed a tutorial using the Nabla um, Poison Garden palette, which I will show you guys this one just to uh, to give you guys a little bit of uh, a peek into what this one looks like. Also a gorgeous palette, just not as much of my color scheme as the other one is. That's what that one looks like. So I love it. I like the brand a lot. I like what they stand for. They're very much like, healthy, holistic makeup that is um, all natural products, cruelty-free, all of the great stuff that you're looking for in a quality makeup 
company and producing quality products seems to be um, something that's coming very natural to them. So I was really excited to test these out. There are a lot of other products that I use regu regularly that I could recommend, but these are the ones I really wanted to highlight because I've been really relying on them during the social isolation period um, where I'm trying not to break the bank using all my expensive products, but I'm still trying to do makeup looks and um, just for my own sanity and my own well-being, you know, keeping a normal schedule of getting ready and doing all that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys like this. I really think that a monthly pick is going to be a regular thing that we're doing towards the end of the month, beginning of the month, um, so that you guys can kind of see what I've purchased and what I've decided that I think is worth um, sharing with you guys as, as my top pick for the month. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps us a ton. Like I said at the beginning, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider joining the Dark Angel family. We'd love to have you as part of it. And other than that, I hope you guys are all just staying really safe, healthy, precautious, and girly with a dark twist.